Dans la culotte noire et blanche et pesant 224,7 livres. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white trim and weighing in at 224,7 pounds. Il est à la recherche d'une première victoire à son cinquième combat professionnel aujourd'hui. Aiming for win in his fifth professional bout this afternoon. Mesdames et messieurs, accueillons de Cleveland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Cleveland, Ohio, Daryl Smith. Et dans le coin rouge, portant la culotte bleue et blanche et pesant 236 livres. His opponent across the ring fights out of the red corner wearing navy trunks with white trim and weighing in at 236 pounds. Il effectue aujourd'hui ses débuts professionnels. He is appearing today in his first professional bout. Mesdames et messieurs, accueillons l'ex-champion canadien amateur de Trois-Rivières. Please welcome former Canadian amateur champion from Trois-Rivières, David Cadieu. Les juges de ce combat, judging this bout at ringside, Monsieur Jean Lapointe, Monsieur Dale Sotheby, Monsieur Jack Woodburn, l'arbitre, the referee, Mr. Marlon Wright. Love the way they couched it. Daryl Smith still looking for his first win. <laughs> In this fifth or looking for his first win, not still, yeah. but the yeah. unvarnished truth is he's 0 and 4. Okay, let's go, man. And maybe in tough, even a guy who is yet to do it to punch for pay. Well, he has to think now. He's going against a guy, and again, this is for the Canadian Amateur Champion. What is he going to expect? This is his first professional fight. In talking to him before the fight, he was nervous, but he said he couldn't get the excitement out of his system. He was too excited. He was very pumped up. No doubt. You're yeah, fighting go. a guy like Grant. Now, is it a scheduled win? We don't know. This is why you fight the fights. Let's go, seconds. Let's go over here. Come over here. Okay, right. gentlemen, I gave you both my instructions in the dressing room. I expect you to protect yourself at all time and you obey my command at all time, all right? All right. Okay, touch gloves. Let's go. Thank you. David Kidyu. All 6'6, 236 pounds of him. He's got the reach at 84 inches. Yeah. Let's see if he has the skill. Daryl Smith has been self-trained before this. Al Jones with him for the first time. Basically, they had to start over with him, Bill. Nice to see Al, and he was telling us about that. He basically, you know, he went through fights, and he really had to work at it. Let's look at it closely because the strong favorite, Kadyu, and the crowd expecting thunder from him. And look at that jab. Very nice. Smith's trying to come back with something. Runs into a right hand there. Kadu is on your left. Coming forward behind the jab. Looking for that opening and there he unloads to the body nicely with a snappy left hook. Nice, nice uppercut pace, and there's that left. He's keeping pace, he's keeping under control. He, I thought he was gonna come out while he, he hasn't though. Well, I think the best chance for Smith is to try to catch this guy when he's over anxious as you mentioned Bill and catch him really cold. But Smith not fighting with enough offense. They're trying to come, but not really sitting down on his shots, and it really didn't discourage David Cadieu. Cadieu just having his way in terms of where he wants to take this fight. Well, you see the strength right there in, the, in, in that shove. You can see he's got, he's got good strength. Well, there we see Smith with some good hand, uh, good fast hands. But can he discourage Cadieu? Smith has to keep his hands up, but he's got to let him fly, too. Cadu is really just punching when he wants to punch. He covers up. Big shots on the gloves, and then comes back with a big hook that seemed to set up the right. shake yeah. Smith. And now it's Smith in retreat there. The body shot just grazes Smith. And boy, a lead right body shot from outside means David Cadu is able to take liberties. And that means Smith has a lot of defensive holes. Now he's trying to punch back. Not a lot on his shots, huh, Bill? No. Smith. Yeah. You don't, you don't see it right now. In a, in a sense, passively, but 
And this is this is all new for it's all new for Smith too. I mean, you got to look at it that way. Good point. I mean, in a sense, it's his first fight because he's got a new man. Yeah, do with those trouble. double left hooks and uh, Smith Ooh, just standing there. His hands. Yeah, can't Coming do that. Back, That's you haven't hurt me. Well, yeah, he, he could run into a big shot. Out. He looked at him almost angrily, like he took it personally. <laughs> How dare you? I would me. take it very personally. <laughs> Smack me in the face with a clean, flush shot. <laughs> yeah, but you're down here in the ring. That's a problem. You're down here below the ring. And Smith gets out in the first round. Hold on. What? Okay. Over my. Turn four, four, four. Okay, rapid. Okay, hold on. All right, here we see Cadu going to work. There's that hook, and that drives his man back, and he follows with that right, that cross. <laughs> Daryl looking a little angry at him. But, you know, maybe he needs that. Maybe he needs something to warm up his engine. Yeah, absolutely. Seeing Smith is a very, very focused with Daryl Smith. He's leaning right over your back. He got it. He got Whoop, we don't want any of that, Al Jones. Nice to see Al again, too. Oh, it's great to see Daryl Smith, at least with some measure of direction in his corner. As I said, he had to get opponents, uh, guys, to help him out in these last fights. So he's really been thrown into the deep end of the pool. David Cadell with a busy jab. I like his right hand, too. I like his hand speed. He's also picking up the tempo. You notice he's also trying to cut the ring. He's trying to move in now. He's come out a lot quicker in the oh. second. Oh, but a nice answer by Smith. Yep. But Kedu really fighting under control again. Mm -hmm. Not getting ahead of himself. It's only a four-round fight, as his professional debut would indicate it should be. Kedu clubbing with those left hooks to the head, not trying that overhand right. He zings that jab in there. And that's what Smith isn't doing enough of. He's trying to stuff Cadu's movement with that jab and blunt his attack. Well, let's see if he does come forward. The last time he did, he did pay a price. So uh, maybe keeping him on his heels. Yeah, he doesn't have the reach. And he doesn't seem to have the power to make it an inside game. So he doesn't have the reach to stay outside. So well, I Darryl Smith has a real dilemma. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, it's hard to say because we really haven't seen it yet. Will we? We don't know. Uh, left hook seemed to rock Daryl Smith first to the head and then a follow up shot to the ribs. Now Cadu fighting again under control, not getting sloppy, not getting too anxious. He did a nice job coming over the top there, though. He did. Great the shot there and walking away is Smith in the first edict in boxing. Well, protect yourself at all times. He gets a warning from the referee. Not sure why he did. He, it was not. It was not stopped at that time. You, you can't let your guard down. Yeah. Boxing 101. He was walking away ever. out of the break when he got clipped by David Cadu. I mean that helped. That helped Travis Sims in, in his body when his man left his guard down and yeah. thinking there was going to be some kind of a call. You can't do. You cannot do that, Daryl. Cadu with some power shots. One that landed, the other that didn't. Smith showing he could fight a little bit. A little bit more than an 0-4 record would indicate. It is early, though. Half a minute to go in round two of a scheduled four-round heavyweight fight. Be careful with Smith. He's looking a little glassy. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been able to discourage David Cadu or Ooh, take him out of head. his rhythm at all. And there's a headbutt. Time! That was that was tough right there. Not what anybody needs. No, and that was not a head, but to hit the top of his head. It actually hit right in the nose, right near the eye. Now you see blood. Accidental and oh, you do see it up top. Accidental. Okay, yeah. that's, oh boy, that's it dangerous. Just, it's yeah, it was above the eye. Okay. This would be a no contest. Accidental. It would be an NC at this point because it has to go four. Or basically a no decision. 
Yeah, Let's look at the head bet, the, the clash here, and David Cadu caused it. Boom. Yeah. Smith leaned down, and when oh, he did that. Oh, I don't that, think it was Smith at all. No, yeah, it, he yeah. leaned down, and once he did yes. that, Cadu came forward. And that's it. Yeah, that's going to be it. So really an inauspicious debut, pro debut for David Cadu. Ending really ingloriously, he digs that shot to the ribs as he led with his head uh, simultaneously. Completely inadvertent. You, you would think sometimes, uh, well, you know, let's do it in experience. Not really. Smith probably shouldn't have gone forward there. And Cadu came up, and really it was it was a it was an ultimate head blow. Normally you don't usually see them top coming down. That time it was it was coming up, and he did get him. I, I initially thought maybe it was just above the nose, but it was. It was literally right on the eye. That blood really flew. Was started the flow, and uh, when Too he ran bad. that red, the doctor did the yep. smart thing. It doesn't hurt, kid, you. But it, again, you inauspicious is, is the right term. This will be an NC because I, I don't believe they'll go to cards. It's too early. No, no, no. They can't. It's got to be a no contest yeah. at this point. Uh, well, it's strange because it has to. You have to have four in the books, but when you only have two, you at least have to have. Two rounds in the books, halfway through, mm -hmm. and they weren't even halfway through when that happened. So it's no contest. Inauspicious again, debut. Uh, the fight ending prematurely inside, uh, less than two rounds because of the accidental headbutt administered by the man you're looking at, David Kedu, in his professional debut. Daryl Smith on the receiving end of that. Too much blood <laughs> to continue, and the doctor wisely stopped this one. a good move. Smart play. I mean, was Smith on the verge? He was seemingly, he was well, looking a little glassy, hard to tell. Let's go to Christian Gauthier. Mais fin au combat à 2 minutes 50 secondes du deuxième round. Ce combat est considéré, grâce à un coup accidentel, à une nulle technique. Fight doctor Pierre Meunier puts an end to the fight at 2 minutes 50 seconds of the second round. Due to an accidental cut, this fight is a technical draw. So a TD on the record, the first professional fight. Well, he'll look at that one and think about it throughout his entire professional career. David Cadu starting off really with a uh, sort of a neutralized pro debut. Neither winning, neither losing. He's 29 years old, a Canadian national amateur champion. Daryl Smith comes to enemy turf and Really didn't get battered around, but I don't think anybody feels great about having their hand raised for this one. But if you look at it again, you watch Kadu was coming in and digging a left hook as he led with his head there. He threw the punch and led with his head, and Smith, nothing out of the ordinary there until this happened. It's not as if he was coming forward to cause that clash by any means. He didn't lean back, and perhaps that would, that's what Kadu expected as he got set to throw that left hook. So a technical draw here in Montreal. And up next, main event time. Vaughn Bean, Tony the Tiger Thompson. Ten rounds.